Jeremy Andrews, and the Dream Stream presents Rapid Runs. Saucy. Welcome on back, dreamers and new folk. This is a special edition of Rapid Runs Dream Race Recap. The dream races are intended to showcase individuals' talents, ranging from a musical opening act to racing, speedrunning, and even challenge runs of the respective games on display. The fourth event of Jumpstart January's Dream Races was Luigi's Mansion 100% for the GameCube by Flippity Flam. Commentary for this run was done by myself, General Andrews. Let's see how it turned out. All right. So let's let's just go. Let's okay, just go. Okay, you, you do the countdown, and on go, I will hit the timer. Perfect. All right, I'll go three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. Okay, here we go, folks. So, We're in, what is our what is your it. game plan here? So the game plan here is we need a hundred million money. We need to get all the booze. And we need to get all the portrait ghosts, so we need to clear all the rooms, basically. There's only a couple that we don't clear, but those are the ones that have toads in them, and we just leave them crying forever. Oh, okay. So now, for this one, 100% run, you said 100 million gold. How do you get that? You're going to see, it's a lot of multitasking. This oh. <laughs> there, you have to do, there's so many things to do in this run. Well, because I'm less familiar with this gems. one. Yeah, so there's a lot of backup gems to do, but like a big difference here is we're gonna we're gonna just pick up all the dosh that we see while clearing rooms. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Because in the any percent run that I remember you running the most of, it seems like um, money is not an issue. It's not. You don't need money at all. And there's actually like an incredible amount of standing around when it's the any percent compared to the hundred percent because uh -huh. you, you would normally just stand here. But we want to check that and see if there's money in there and check that on the way to the next ghost here. Check if there's money in there. Okay, so now the, that means the money's a lot of like locations are RNG heavy. Yes. Every location with money in it is RNG, whether or not we get it. Wow. So there could be a gold bar in here. There could not be. There is. So that's good RNG. How much does your health matter in this? Uh, in this one, not so much. So a funny thing, when you're running on Hidden Mansion, which is like New Game Plus, right? Okay. Um, on the Japanese version, your health gets hit the same by ghosts. Whereas on the English version, you actually take double damage wow. when you're on Hidden Mansion. That's a huge uh, difference. Yeah, it is. So it's not as dangerous as you would think. Yeah. Like I said, just there's so many things to do at once. Like normally you just push those garbage ghosts and you just leave them, but we want to get that other for the the money there. And now our bills are looking good. We got both the gold bars. Now we're going to one of my favorite portrait ghosts, uh, Nigel Thornberry. Ooh. Yeah, he smashing, as they say. Smashing now. Yes. yes. He unfortunately remarried and had a whole different family after that show, and he died in this mansion. Nigel's not that hard. We're just going to go up there and we're just going to corner vacuum up here. There's Nigel. He's reading a book. So the pearls are really important. They're the most important thing. Is those big pearls are worth a lot of money. So we want to pick up as many big pearls from the portrait ghosts as we can. Okay. And you can only do that if you cycle down their health to like 10. Interesting. So now when you say cycle down their health to 10, is that when you're sucking them into the vacuum or? Yeah. So every portrait ghost has a hundred health in this. Okay. And 
you're going to hear my control stick going like every 10 in the direction that's opposite of them to kind of get that nice little flow going. Got it. And then we get that nice, beautiful, big pearl. So Sometimes now, just don't like to open. When you're collecting either. the money, do you also have to suck the money up or can you run into it to collect? You can run into it too. <clears throat> There's actually this thing called pearl duping. Okay. It's a frame perfect trick. So I don't do it very often because I'm really bad at it. But mm -hmm. if you suck up a pearl at the same time that you touch it, you actually get that pearl twice. Oh, that's so awesome. You try and you try and do that with... You can do it on a full stack on Nigel's, but I'm just really bad at it, which is why I didn't go for it. Okay, okay. Does it hurt you if you go for it and miss it? No, it doesn't hurt you. It doesn't really lose time if you go for it and miss it. It just needs, like, positioning of the pearls is huge on that. Got it, okay. So now this little uh, tyrant, little baby tyrant over here is going to make another appearance in just a second, huh? Yeah, except uh, he's going to be a lot bigger this time around. Is he a lot bigger or are you a lot smaller? You know, I like to think that he just got bigger. Okay, okay. Technically, I think you're smaller, but... Yeah, it looks like this and baby I think he even taking says. into his world. His crib of It does, yeah. This is the baby rage boss. This is Chansey, or Twitch chat, as I like to call it at times. Ooh, and even winked at yeah. you, so it kind of likes Even winked, him. yeah. So, there are only a couple of boss ghosts in this that you can actually one-cycle. Chansey is one of those bases that you cannot one-cycle no matter what you do. The, the Taz even only gets Chansey down to, like, three. Wow. So, we're gonna get Chansey in our vacuum. We're gonna stop right about above 50 or so. Because if we go below 50, he's gonna go into a different phase. It takes longer. Okay, yep, that makes sense. Kind of like a super crank fight in Turtles 4. Exactly, yeah. Where, where, where dying is more important to do more damage to skip the cycles. Okay. Exactly, yeah. He's going to throw a couple more chairs at us. We're going to take damage off of this chair. And give us nice, beautiful iframes. Hopefully, we'll get hit. We can hit that twice. Get an insta ball. Wow. Well, and there's the first boss. Yeah, the two knocks sets up the timing there really well, but sometimes, as uh, as we've seen, Luigi doesn't like to do what you tell him to do. Ah, uh, <laughs> that's why him and his brother are odds. Okay. It's true. It's true. How many bosses are in this run? <clears throat> there are four. Okay, four total bosses. So you already had 25% through the bosses. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Area one's the shortest area in the game. It's about six minutes or so. Yeah, that's what it seemed like. Okay. After every area, we go back to Egad's lab to put the poor souls back into purgatory, into the paintings, because we're the real monsters in this video game. I was going to say, it sounds like uh, this Egad is quite uh, the mad scientist of sorts. He really is. I mean, we're putting these ghosts back into the first one we come is just reading a book, right? Right. And we just ruin his whole book. You almost turn him into a book. Almost, yeah. He'll be in the book on the coffee table for sure. Dang. So what you're telling me is there's a coffee table that has a book about coffee tables on it. Yes. <laughs> beautiful. Absolutely I want that beautiful. book. I love that book. I did my whole dissertation on it. Same. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Okay, so now this area you're going to, was this locked? You could not go to it beforehand? Couldn't go to it before. Now that we beat that first area, we can't go here. Fun fact, entering the left door on double doors is one second faster than entering the right door. What? Why? Which, wh I don't know. Oh, I really okay. wish I did. Okay. It's It's animation, I think it is. But it's just, it's a really weird thing. Like, there are so many really weird small things that save time in this run. Right, right. Like, a in lot this of room, just... you're not going to wash your hands when you're done with these ghosts, right? Oh, no, absolutely yeah, not. Yeah, that saves you time. It's a lot of just knowing where the ghosts are, knowing when to get doubles. Um, also, you're going to see me, like, pointing my flashlight up here and, and spinning around the hallways. Yeah. Is that helpful? It is. So, ghosts spawn in all of these hallways, but they only spawn and scare Luigi when he is actually 
when they're actually behind them. That's how they're programmed. Oh. So is that going to override that? It does, yeah. And I'm assuming those are ghosts that you're not trying to collect. Those just interrupt your run. Yes, yeah, they just interrupt your run. Every time Luigi gets scared, uh, you lose a whole second. Dang, okay. Now, these shy guys are weird. The shy guys have the... They have a different hitbox than every other ghost in the game, which I don't know why. They have a triangle hitbox, so sometimes huh. getting the doubles on them is, is a lot diff more difficult. That makes sense. Room. You know, with those sharp angles, that would be make it... You're hoping they're layered perfectly. Yeah. Like, this was probably the hardest room at first to really get down. So this looks like a double, but they're sharing one health box, is that correct? They're, they're sharing one, yeah, they're just dancing. They're so in love that even in death, they are together. Wow, that's a beautiful story. Isn't it? And then we just put them in a painting. That's what we did to them. Well, that's how all love, you know, never fades, right? You just put that's it in a true. painting. That is true. They can also, they can... <laughs> So we didn't get it, but they can do early release on there, which is about 10 seconds faster. Oh. Otherwise, they have to go a little bit farther down the road before you can suck them up. Got it. Okay. Is that just because their hitbox won't be available to suck up or something? Yeah, their heart doesn't show. Okay. So you can only suck up Portrait Ghosts when you, like, complete the puzzle, right? Got and they show it. their heart. And theirs just shows up. Yeah. Also, fun fact, if you're not on the spinning things in the middle, uh, their heart doesn't show up no matter what. Oh, wow, okay. But you have to be spinning on there. All right, so now here is the worst part of this whole game. Oh. Uh, these guys, the booze, the trolls. Oh, yeah, these ones, totally. Are you going to capture all of these? Yes. So there are 50 booze in the game. 15 of them come from a boss, Bulasis. We'll get to him later. Uh, then there are 35 other ones that we have to get. The problem with the booze is, and we'll find out real quick here, is that they can lose you anywhere between 6 to 7 seconds, or 15 to 20 seconds. And times depending 50, on where they are. that's a lot. It's a lot, yeah. <laughs> okay, so here's a quick question from the chat. What is an average run on here? Because your estimate, I think, is around 90-something minutes? Yeah, so an average an average run for me is around... Uh, I'd say around like an hour 20. Okay. World record is sitting at an hour 7 right now. Okay, I thought I remember the world record is around an hour 7. Which is kind of nuts. Like, it used to be an hour 13 when I was running the game consistently. Okay, yeah, yeah. <coughs> So in these last few years, almost since you started running every single year, another minute's coming off of it. It seems like it, yeah. A lot of a lot of talented runners have really started to take out and really cut down the run a lot. So as you can see, the first spot we always wanted to be is that right one. Yep. It wasn't okay. there. We have to go to the other one. That one's not that big of a deal because we gotta be on this side of the room anyway. Okay, so that time slot time loss was, was small overall it's small <clears throat> we're gonna get him as you can see he got his very chatty after every single boo so there's a couple this... ways to skip that okay cool i was just about to ask uh you can suck up a cloth at the same time that you suck up a boo and that will skip the text, or as we'll see here in a little bit, we'll go through a mouse hole also to skip the text on a boo. Awesome. So folks, you, you didn't hear it, but I almost dropped um, my bottle perfectly on the power button of the computer. Thankfully I missed. Wow. That would have been quite the shot. I wouldn't even be mad at that. Like you were literally sucking something up as it happened. It was gonna be pretty epic if it... <laughs> <laughs> We're okay though, folks. It's okay. I just my my blood pressure went up for a moment there. 
<laughs> yeah, we'll blame the ghost. It was probably one of the booze. They got into my uh, drink holder over here and started moving it around. <laughs> oh, did it, Dave? Oh, gosh. Yeah. Oh, man. That's one of those moments when, like, everything just, like, the cackles raise, the blood pressure raises. It's like, <laughs> but I'm okay. Thank goodness. I'm all right. It's all fine. <laughs> it moved just enough. <laughs> Now that one didn't look like you had to um, capture anything there. No, this is one of the rooms that we can skip completely. Ah. We just leave Toad crying there as we warp back to the beginning. We got our key and now we're going to get our first element here, which is fire. Now Toad was also crying in that front room. Is that because that's another Toad that you interact it's with? It's a different Toad, yeah. Okay, okay. So a bit of the lore on the game here as yeah. I go through these. this room is... Uh, so Luigi... Got an invitation, or he, he won a mansion in this contest that he didn't enter. <laughs> typical. Yeah, typical, right? <clears throat> and Mario and the Toads decided to go check it out first. Well, it was supposed to be a trap for Luigi, but Mario showed up first, so King Boo actually took him and put him in a painting. And now we've got to go through with our Poltergust and uh, go save our brother. So what you're telling me is Mario tried to snag up this mansion before Luigi and then got he, duped he himself. He really did. Okay. He did. Pay attention to that, folks. Mario's not always the uh, the good lord that you think he is. So we're going to pick up this boo, grab fire at the same time, and then we're going to save to skip uh, some text. Oh, cool. Okay. Now that fire I saw you grab, like you said this is one of your powers that you get now. What does it help you with? <laughs> So it, it mostly it's puzzles, but it also hurts the ghosts. Mm. And it will take off five health of the ghosts at each each time you spray them. So now will you take off five all of their the health elements. as you're also vacuuming them, and therefore it's an even faster way to. Uh, their actually, health? no. Once you fire something, you can't suck it up. You have to wait. Oh. So it just depends. It just depends on what you're trying to do. Okay. The biggest thing that you can do with the elements is. Uh, Flashlight skips. As soon as you hit the fire, it'll skip Luigi taking out his flashlight. And that also saves about half a second every time you do it. And uh, you do that a lot. I was going to say, you probably do that anywhere between 50 to 100 times in this run easily, right? At least, yeah. Okay. So that's a lot of time, actually, when you add it up. <laughs> so if, if we didn't have to multitask enough, this whole next part is a bunch of multitasking. Because we're while that butler makes his way down this hallway... We've got to clear this room here. Got it. It's funny when you say, you know, it's not too much time when you look at it as only one unit, but with as many times as you do it, because I remember in Zelda Link's Awakening, uh, one of the strats was you want to skip the text on the treasure chests. Yeah. And in the process, you're only saving about a second to 1.2 seconds, but you do that about 38 times in the run. That's a lot of time. So he's got to focus here, folks, so don't don't mind him being quiet at the moment. Oh, uh, okay. This is going to be really close. Especially if we get the cutscene. You got this, you got this, you got this. Don't leave! Stay, stay, okay. stay! <laughs> We're dreaming! Come on, baby! Yo, count it, folks. That was sick. That was sick. Ugh. It tried to take it's, off on him too. You it's see that? always scary. It's always scary. He literally started to take off a little bit. I was like, uh oh, it's not good. So we, here's our first little tech skip, and we're gonna suck him up and miss the mouse hole. Ah. So there's our text. We'll hopefully get it on the way back. Okay. So you still dealt with little text. Okay. Yeah. So this one's hard to do fast. We're going to try. Uh, he ran away. So we're just going to fire them all again here real quick. We're going to lure them all to the corner. And get hit. This room either goes perfectly or it goes absolutely insane. Okay, okay. Well, looks like there's Especially, a lot of things that can hit you. There is, yeah. There's five of these ghosts here that you've got to get. On top of there being bats that as soon as you use your vacuum, 
uh, they'll start attacking you and flying after you. Okay, okay. So now are these gems towards your money? Yeah, these gems are towards your money. We'll pick up these things. This is the treasure room, so there's a bunch of money in here we're gonna grab. Cool. We're gonna hope the booze in here. He's gotta be now. And take those bills from the chandelier. And there we go. Now Ooh, we that was the sick. text. That was sick, folks. Did you see that? So he showed you when you got caught with text, then showed you how you skip the text. That that was smooth. Now we're gonna collect even more money while opening this up. He was in the best spot he could be in. I miss this. You can suck up that cloth right there to skip this text too. Oh, that's right. It's that's a little what you're tricky. Saying. Yeah. I was gonna say you were gonna have to like. <laughs> that's like a split second to be able to do that. It looked like. It's very tough. It's okay. very tough. That one was recently, well, not recently found, but like a couple years ago that was found. Oh, you know what I forgot? What's that? And this silly, silly guy that was too focused on the mouse. Well, I forgot the key for Melody's room. Oh, okay. So, folks, he does need the keys. How many total keys do you need? I have no idea. Oh, you just I really need don't. Them. I just know that I need to open every chest and get them up. Got it. Yeah, there it is right there. <laughs> it's gonna make me stare in shame at it at first. Yeah, as it loads the room first. Yeah. There's just a lot, there's so many things you have to do at the same time that it's really easy to forget one little thing if you get out of order. Because normally uh. in the butler room, I would hit the mouse hole before sucking him up and then be on a totally different side of the room. Oh, which would then probably put you in a position to think of that and therefore yeah, not Yeah, to actually look at it. The boo was also in the first place I looked, too, so I was focused on the boo. Yep. So we're going to shake the instruments to life. <laughs> and have a little musical any. interlude, right? I mean, you can play the drums. I, I bet you play a mean triangle. Oh, yeah. You should see how hard I throw it against the wall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because we speak Japanese, it's the Super Mario Brothers 3 stream. There's just music. <laughs> Super Mario Brothers 3 stream, folks. Yeah. Don't don't worry. Super Mario World 3, you didn't know? <laughs> <laughs> Super Luigi Brothers 3 on the GameCube. Here we go. I'm actually gonna open this. And oh, hopefully they'll good. get hit by the key. There we go. Look at that, folks. Boo into the key grab. That was sick. Doesn't save really any time because both animations still have to play. Oh, darn. It just looked cool, though. It does look cool, yeah. And I don't have to worry about getting the key because we got it. The mice are being very mean. I was going to say, they're... it looks like I don't remember you dealing with mice too bad. Nah, usually the mice are in a better spot. All right, so this is Flib at 300 pounds. Oh. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Oh, I keep on vacuuming. There we go. <laughs> we're going to suck up his food. We're going to say, hey, Flip, go get on a diet. <laughs> go go to the dream diets. Go get that done. Uh, you hear that, folks? He's, he's like, back in the day, I, I wasn't on this, this dream way of eating, and now I am. And you know what? I'm, fe I'm feeling pretty good. L look at Flip right now. He's just cooking in the kitchen. Doesn't even I need light, he's conserving kitchen. energy. He's just saving the energy for the burn. The metabolic burn. So we may get a little extra cycle, but again, we're doing so many things at once. So here's our second element, we're getting water. Oh, okay. So while this whole thing is going on, I think his name's Ludwig. Is it's spitting fire, and he spits fire, I think. Four or five times before his heart will ever expose. Mm. So it gives us enough time to do this whole room beforehand. Oh, that's why. Okay. And then we'll come back in here. And there he is. You got him. Loving it. Sometimes he likes to get squirrely and get away, and I don't get the big pearl, and it's always really sad. 
So if he gets away, you miss out on the pearl. Yes, <clears throat> the big pearl. That's our money. That's the biggest form of our money. Besides so the gold too. diamonds we get. You think yeah. these big old gold bars are also up there, but... Gold bars are good, but it's just like safety. Okay. Like it's okay. good to have have more than less, but it's it's not like a run killer because there's a bunch of like backup gems and stuff you can get as well. Now right, here's that, spooky. Now that chest that you left behind in the the Ludwig room, that one doesn't matter. That one, we'll get that later. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. I totally forgot to water the plant, and that's fine because Spooky's gonna walk all the way back here and ruin our really cool spooky thing. <laughs> See, and that's why we want to get hit the third time, not the second time. Interesting. He's still in a good spot. He's going to get his heart exposed. Come here, puppers. Yeah, poor little puppers. Again, minding his own business. <laughs> that that doghouse has a ridiculously large hitbox as well. I was curious you, on that. You can literally shoot it all the way to the right with it out of frame, and it will still... It will still go. We're gonna get a double here. Nice. I'm gonna try and grab the safety heart, just in case. Because when you're at low health, Luigi uh, doesn't aim his vacuum really where you want him to anymore. He slouches oh. a little bit more. He's not any slower. He's just a little bit harder to control. Which I can see when you're trying to go fast, especially how fast you've gotten at this, that would then start to be very cumbersome. It is, yeah. Especially when you're not used to taking damage. Mm -hmm. And we took a lot of damage in that last second. So there's the area two boss. This is Bogmire. He's one of the few that you can actually one cycle. Ooh. Is it hard though? He's, it's it's a little difficult for me. Okay. Uh, everybody else makes it look so much easier than I do. He has a 99.9% .9 chance to spawn here to the right. Okay, and he does. And we're gonna hope he's not gonna do it. See, he's probably gonna break away, yeah. Okay. So that I just wasn't fast enough because I do a different method for him just because it's safer. But there we go. Okay, cool. But he's, not, he's not too bad. You just throw his shadows at him, which as a kid, I had no idea that's what I had to do. And I just ran around his arena forever. <laughs> yeah, you're like, come on, let me uh, let me fight you. It can Chroma, because once he gets under 50, he spawns, like, double the amount of shadows as well. Alright, so was that boss number two? That's boss number two. Wow, alright. That's area two done. 50% of the bosses are down, folks. Flip is bringing it. By an anchor, it's not because he's weighing us down, it's because he is a solid foundation. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So this next area, area three, is long. Okay. The next two areas are the longest in the game. I was curious, area four right being the longest. It's sub 30 minutes at the moment, so I'm like, wow, yeah. this is going pretty good. If only, if only. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Area three is just really, really long because we have to talk to Clairvoya, who's the majority of the text in this game. There's a lot of text in this game. Let's talk about that for a second. Yeah, yeah, fill me in. There's a ton of text in this game and you can skip the text and it goes faster the harder you mash A and B alternatively. Oh. But it's a lot of mashing. As you can see, every boo has a text box. Every ending section has a text box. Um, Clairvoya is a big chunk, and that's like borderline 30 to 45 seconds of just straight mashing text away. Now, do you feel like you're really good at that? Or do you feel no. like it, um, it's tough, tough? It's it's tough simply because it's it's hard. It's hard on your hands. It it's is. Just, okay. Mashing is hard on your hands. 
Well, like there's some mashes for some games. I don't feel it's, you know, terribly hard while other games, you know, it feels near impossible. If I, you know, depending <clears throat> which game we're talking yeah. about. That's why I was curious well, it's like this. You're doing, you're doing A and B alternatively. Right. So, and just the, the thing is like the faster you mash that, the faster the text goes. Okay. So you want to mash as fast as possible. Right. It's just very painful. Got After it. After a while. Well, because like to me, like Earthbound has a lot of text, and I feel very comfortable mashing that text. Same, same. Now that could be because you have so many options for text mashing. You got four different buttons. Yeah, this is, you only have two. The GameCube controller is kind of awkward at times, especially when you need to mash. I mean, the B button is so much smaller than the A button. If it was two A buttons, that'd be awesome. Got it. Okay. Okay. Yep. Cause like if you're doing Earthbound, you got one of them as a bumper button. Yeah. And that one's a pretty wide hitbox to, with your own finger. It's like I got this. All right, General Andrew, I didn't know you did a cameo in this game. Look at you. Look at well, how beautiful. The worst beautiful. part is, is that they did not even. Um, they didn't credit you. Zero credits. For some reason, they thought that if I was gonna be in a game, that I wouldn't wear my hat. That's incorrect. Right? Like, this is accurate gonna... if I'm in real life, but not in a game. Very, very true. I mean, this could be this could be your hats at the wash, at the dry cleaners. You know what? This, this is a washed up version of me. Take him out, Flynn. Ah, uh, you're right. Out. Well, he's taking me out. This oh, one I have a lot of trouble with just because I'm not used to it because I run the any percent category mostly. I'm saying, I don't so. remember this guy in that category. He's not. You you literally run, you get the key, and then uh, you leave him be. Okay. You let him continue to work out. That's really nice of you. Right. So we're going to try and hopefully get the boo as we open this. Well, no, he's going to throw a bomb at us. How rude. So they can throw bombs, they can throw a boo ball at you. And that's, that's a fake boo. Oh. And if you hear that cackle, that means he moves. And the boos can move whenever, whenever they feel like it. Wow, that's right. They can move right when you enter a room. They can move as soon as you're going to check the last spot in that room that they could be. It's awful when they do that. That is because it's like you're thinking, okay, at least I checked everywhere else. You have to be in this corner. You have to be in here. And then it's like, oh, cool. Now you've got to recheck the room. Wow. So now, why'd you splash water? So this door is on fire. Oh. And, uh, all right. Well, th th that mouse is RNG. So we can skip the one on the block of cheese on the back. So there's fire on that door. And if we get it right away like that, uh, you can't open the door until the fire is gone. Completely. So you pretty much did it through the, the floor, the ceiling. Yes, yeah. Okay. So by the time you get up there... I really, really want this gem here. Can I have it? And it's gone. Neat. <laughs> Don't want the gem anymore. So here's our last element for the run. This is ice. Okay, cool. Ice does a couple of fun things to the boos, and it kind of freezes them in place. As we'll see with a uh, Bulosis here at the end, the Ares boss. So he can be in any one of the chairs. He was in the ice bucket, which was very, very nice of him. That's the best spot of where you want him to be. Cool. Literally. Yeah. Because we need ice anyway. Okay, all right. So these rooms kind of suck because there's lots of mouses. There's lots of ghosts or hallways, I should say. So it's really hard and things can go really wrong if you're not spinning the right way. Uh, this is Granny. We've got to throw her yarn barrels at her. Uh, she's not making really neat hats like I am. Okay, folks, so, uh, you need some nice knitted hats. Make sure to check out Floaty Flam's channel. Because you do that, what, once every couple of weeks? Once a week? I mean, I st we're still doing lots of knitting. Okay. I have one more hat to do, and that's Chico's. But I sent out the, the last double order. Oh, yeah. 
And uh, there's a limited time because I think I'm going to take them off the store here in about a month. Oh, really? So in about 30 days or so, no no more um, beautiful knitted hats by the Flippity Flam. No, they'll, they'll, you have to wait until next September. There you go, folks. So if you want a knitted hat, self-knitted by Flippity Flam, get in on that. Really good price for high quality. And anyone that Again. happens to have some, feel free to speak on the quality of them. Everybody seemed to have liked them so far. From what from what uh, Sabi's told me, I have quote unquote machine stitching hands. Wow, <laughs> because... that's precision at its finest. But there's a little of the wrong going in that room because lots of ghosts can spawn right there, and we need the fire. We need to light these candles. Is this because you're doing some devil worshiping, or what's... no, no? Well, maybe. Okay. I'm not. You're not. Okay. Um, I think we just need the room just a little bit lighter. God, it was too dark for your light. It, it really was. I mean, it is a star, so. <laughs> That's true, but it's so many of them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious if there's any, you know, tricks of the trade in there. Oh, that's very true. So this is just getting a lot of doubles. There's a lot of these mask guys here, which... They're not too bad. Now that we're out of the really bad room, the boo in this room is the worst because it can be in any one of these candlesticks, and the boo radar does not like to tell you which one. Oh. <laughs> ever. As you can see, it's just freaking out, and it was that bottom one. And he's not even in there. He's in. Oh, and he moved at the last second. There it is. Checking the last place. Of course. Boo Thulu is on the move. Yep. I think this is actually Boo Thulu, too. That's is his it? name. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll credit uh, Eldis for mentioning that in the chat. Ta -da. Now we've got to do our best Piccolo impression and we're going to blow up the moon. All right, so you're doing this so that the Saiyans don't by accident destroy Earth. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay. Even in the Mushroom Kingdom, the Saiyans can show up. That sounds terrible. So basically, folks, if you do not know, for those of you Mario fans out there, obviously a mushroom will make Mario grow nice and big. Well, the same thing happens to Saiyans if they have the moon but they're a little bit uncontrollable when that happens. Good job, Flip. Thanks, it was good aim. There's a trick to aiming there to where if you put like, and there's just a little bit of a V gap between your vacuum and Luigi's chest, that's when you can just release it and you'll always hit the moon. Oh, nice. Well, that's a good little buffering strat. It is nice. It's just hard because sometimes the thing spawns behind you and you can't line up real well. So here's Mario's star. We're collecting all of Mario's stuff. We got his hat, we got his star, we got his letter, and we need his shoes and his glove yet. Uh, because somehow he lost them, yet he still has them. Right, right. Which leads me to believe that he just has a whole plethora of shoes, gloves, and hats. Yeah, that seems about Just right. At his disposal. That's what I have. Mario. You know, a bunch of hats, shoes, gloves, changes of clothing. Gloves? I mean, I could, you know. That's true, you could. Oh, yeah. I like how that was the only thing that bothered you of what I said. Yeah. <laughs> you wear gloves? Gloves? Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> how dare so here, you mention that during my run <laughs> right yeah how dare you now i'm confused i'm bewildered and confused <laughs> in california you should never have to wear gloves <laughs> uh, if only that was true so here we're gonna get the triple we're gonna lure those three out Ooh, that was sick Come on, Boo, go right and, in there. And it's really nice because you can open up, as soon as you suck up the last ghost, you can go to a spot and you can open it up. And if the Boo's in there, the, uh, you'll get the Boo, he'll he'll launch out. Oh. Or if it's a fake one, then 
uh, you know that at least that's done. So you can kind of get that out of the way. So this is bank shot. He's going to go all the way around the table before he shoots the billiard balls. And the money and there's a money and a gem in this. Uh, the bills are actually about as much as worth as much as the gem is. Oh. So we're going to hope that we can get come here. There we go. Actually good. Nice little one cycle on bank shot. All right, Bing Shot, you stay right there. Not bad. A lot of sometimes those billiard balls can get in a corner, which is the worst spot because then they they only have so many hits before they despawn, and mm, then you have to I wait for them to go all the way around the table again. And do you have to get three every single time? You have to hit him with three, yeah. Uh -huh. At least for the first time. Like, let's say you hit him with three, you messed up, he got away, then you only have to hit him with one again. Oh, okay. Okay. Still time lost, but not as bad as I thought it would be. <clears throat> I mean, it takes a long time for him to go around the table. <laughs> so, now we gotta go clean up the area one booze, because we just saved those for later, because we had to come back here for one of the other children ghosts in the game. Uh, the twins. Mm. So he can be in the bottle or in the lamp, which is technically the worst spot since I check it last. And I would really, there we go. All right, I was like, that boo is being a little boo watch right there. <laughs> Got him. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Thank you. Thank you. Even Luxon found it funny. That's hard. Luxon that gets is. mad about puns. He hates puns, man. Sorry, Chr just... Chrome was okay with puns. Yeah. <laughs> Here are the twins. You got to spin that, then agree to their game. So what you're saying uh, is you got to spin to twin? You got to spin to win it. And then here's a little trick. If you're ever playing this casually and you don't know and you keep on messing up, you vacuum these boxes when one's shaking. That's where the ghost is. Wow. Nice. Uh, so this is actually, yeah, this is bad RNG because it's on the other side of the room. Oh, no. At first I thought it was a good RNG. No, if it's in the first two boxes, that would be technically good, good RNG. I would like these bills, though. Okay, like I don't right want now, them I anymore. I care more about the money than you two running me I around. know. So the thing about portrait ghosts and getting doubles on them, you can get a double on the twins since the twins only ever go back and forth. Okay. But if you try and get doubles on other portrait ghosts that are, are like, there's three of them, say, in one room, when we get to the toy soldiers, there'll be three of them. Yeah. Uh, and people think, well, why don't you just triple them? Why don't you just get them all and triple them all at the same time? <clears throat> If it's a portrait ghost, they will always go in the opposite direction of each other, no matter what. Ah, oh, got it. So you you really, really can't, up until a certain point, uh, double them. That was technically a long text box from EGAD. Also, this is the part of the game where EGAD can give you a short text box, a medium text box, and a very, very long text box. Oh, what? So there's even RNG in the text boxes, which is wonderful. That's terrible, because I mean, you could waste time mashing when it's... It's already over. You can, yeah. <laughs> so another little thing about the booze that I just kind of glossed over, or didn't really even explain, is, um... If anybody's played this game casually, you're like, oh, how the booze are moving around so much. We kind of freeze them in place by pumping every 10 health. When you say pumping every 10 health, what does that so mean? So 10, 10, like that. Got you, it. You kind of R pump it with Got the R it. button so you, in you your vacuum. Like release for like a, a split second, then re suck it back in kind of situation? Yeah. Okay. So when, um, when you have an element or like I hold the, the left trigger mm -hmm. and then I pump with the right trigger. Got and that's it. what necessarily, that's, that's what keeps them frozen in place. The biggest problem, though, is that 
The boos, yeah, every time you hear a boo cackle, uh, that's one cackle, and they have 15 cackles before they leave the room. Oh. Getting the right spot for her is a lot harder than I thought it is. So every time, so if a boo has 150 health and I get it in the same room, that was a perfect boo. Oh, wow. Because they have 15 cackles. And you, it, the frame window on the R pump is pretty, it's pretty lenient. It's, I think, three to five frames. Okay, okay. So it's not terribly hard. No, that's not bad, actually. Uh, here's where all that text is. Right here. <laughs> here it is. And I'm in a bad spot, so I'm gonna I'm gonna move that table <laughs> every single time I try and talk with her. So she's telling us all about like all the items we brought her, which were Mario stuff and whatnot. Hmm. Basically, giving us the synopsis. This is the the lore dump of the game. Ah. In and who's really behind it because she's taking Mario's items and then using her crystal ball and telling you where they've been, what they've done. So she's a, uh, a seer of all things. A seer, yes. I think is a nice way of putting it, correct, yeah. <laughs> a soothsayer, I think is another way of putting it. The oracle. The Oracle, yes, yes. So, she's a little different. She's the only one that you do this with. But to, instead of the tapping method, you actually just spin both control sticks. Oh! And, uh, that's it. That's, uh, that's how you suck her up really fast. Because she always, she spins around. Aha, uh -huh, okay. So you just spin both of them. You spin to win, if you will, as the kids say nowadays. Nowadays, yes. <laughs> Alright, so now we're gonna go back, we're gonna get that chest that we left. Oh yeah! This is that Ludwig chest, correct? The Ludwig, yeah. I think his name's Ludwig. I don't know. But at least today, all of us are calling today him Today, his name is Ludwig. Okay. And we gotta get the Boo in this room. Uh, the Boo can be in a lot of really uh, sort of funky spots. It looks like he may be on this side. He is. So, so yeah, you'll see me moving from left to right, and that's just to adjust to his position, because every time you do pump, he will move just a little bit. Oh, that's what it looked like. <clears throat> and the biggest problem with him doing that, let's see if we get the snipe. So this plant over here is, is very, very important. I'm hitting it. Kind of. <laughs> there we go. So that plant's gonna account for like a quarter of our money because it's gonna give us a gold gem. Ooh! It's all the glitters is gold, baby. Only the best for the dream races. Hell yeah! Mario. It's also kind of nice because we need ice here for this next upcoming part, and we don't have to go back into the ice room. Mario. Now, now that you have this ice ability, can you just make a bunch of ice and then just capitalize on all that money? Man, if only, if only, if okay. only I could make diamonds. Yeah, right? Yeah, Topaz has been paying attention. Sees gold, gets gold. Okay, there's that, that one second lost from the ghost getting you. So now we're going into the, the, the trophy room. This has got the deer heads over here. And to activate the room, we got to activate the deer heads. We gotta freeze these guys because they have water. Ah. And the neat thing about the element is if you put the element before they spawn, you don't have to do it and you instantly get their heart. Oh nice, almost like a buffering strat. Yeah. So to speak. We're gonna do that and then we're gonna get this double. Ooh, nice setup. And we're gonna hope he's on away from the bananas. And he threw a banana. Instantaneously, of course, right when he, he said did that. instantaneously. The garbage ghosts are never really that bad, but I hate them. <laughs> All the same. 
Yo, Slarmer, welcome on in. I hope you're having a good night. Fully Flam is closing out the dream races with just this fantabulous lore dump and high skills associated with uh, Luigi's Mansion 100%. Hey, Slarmer. Oh, okay. Oh, it didn't give you that. I'm, it didn't. I thought I had it in my hand, but I guess not. All right, so here's the worst boss in all games, period, forevermore until the oh. end of time. Okay. Uh, this is Bulasis. In my splits, I call him Trololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololol
But we're gonna get up here and we're gonna like open up the other area like we have the other two with our key. But uh, lightning's gonna strike the house and it's gonna flip the breaker in the basement. Got it. And then we have to walk all the way back. We have to get a key from Grimly or Uncle Frank or Z as he called because he is he is also RNG. Um, he just shows his heart whenever he feels like. He can show it instantly as soon as you get in the door. He can take up to a minute to show his heart as well. Mm -hmm. Woof! That's a long time. What would be the fastest? Instantly. As soon as oh. you walk through the door, you can hear it. Like, you can hear his heart show. Oh, okay. And that is, that is the best that you want. Usually he doesn't ever take a minute. It just can take up to that long. No, well, right. Yeah, you had that whole range. Yeah. Pretty oh average gosh. is like five to 12 seconds, I'd say. Folks, for those of you just tuning in, make sure to get in on the raffle. Exclamation point raffle to win a $50 gift card for Dauntless Snacks. So I'm aiming towards where all these ghosts respawn because like we said, ghosts only spawn on the Ouija if his back is turned. And since the mansion is all nice and dark now, there are ghosts everywhere again. Uh, of course, so it's dark. So we just dark. gotta wait. Okay. Yeah, of course. Just gotta wait. Now it looks like he's dropping a bunch of pearls, so that looks good. He is, yeah. So every there, what is it? Four, four small pearls, four medium pearls, and then one large pearl. If you quote unquote perfect suck a ghost. Got it. Mine's all different because I messed up on sucking up. I think his name's Biff. I think actually that it go the strong ghost's name is Biff. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. I'd have to look it up. Biff the Buff Boo, huh? Yeah. Him I either get like instant like I do get it and it's perfect or it's like not even close. And we got the not as not as close one. Any uh, Back to the Future fans in here, folks? Sounds like Luigi. He answered me immediately. Yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't like? So now, now in this area, we're getting to the ghosts that have 200 health. Oh, uh, which means you cannot suck them up. In I one cannot go. suck them up all the way. This one you actually can, but it's actually incredibly difficult because you want to have them at the other side of the room, and then you can actually kind of throw them back and forth in that wall. Weird, okay. By releasing him and, and redoing him at very different intervals. I've seen people do it. I don't know exactly how it's done. Uh, this is probably one of the most dangerous rooms just because of that, that right there. Um, uh, poison mushrooms have a 20% chance to spawn in any location that you open up. Oh. So and what do they do to back you? for him later? Uh, they just freeze time. Oh, crap. So you're literally, you, it's, it's like a, it's a 15 second straight up just loss. You can't use your vacuum. The only thing you can do is call for Mario. That's it. Huh. Yes, it's Majin. very, very upsetting. Oh, really chance? Oh, okay. It does oh. make sense. It really does. I think Mario and Luigi, the Superstar Saga, the one for DS, kind of flushed that theory out a little bit more, too. Mario. With the different items that Awful has, because they're EGAD Industries. Interesting. Okay. Mario. The plot thickens. So as I said, we got to walk all the way back to the other side. This area has the worst booze in the game. We have two 300 health booze to deal with. Ugh, that sounds gross. So now you definitely can't cycle one cycle you of 300. You can't, no. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and 150 them in one room 
lure them into the next room that we're going to anyway, and then finish them off in that room. Okay, cool. Let's hope that goes well, folks. Let's let us hope. So there's a ghost here that can just spawn whenever he feels like it, no matter what I do, <laughs> even when you're looking straight at him. <laughs> like, thanks, game. Thanks, game. Uh, this is the bone room. There's two nice little bone ghosts in here. Um, we're going to go ahead and open up this right chest first to get the money. Otherwise, if the boo's in that chest, and he can be, uh, no money will spawn, so we oh. might as well just take the guaranteed money. Got it. This one just has gold bars and bills, so we're just going to grab the gold bars. Here is here's the toy soldier room. Got to activate these clocks. Which play the soundtrack as well, which this has a, a dynamic soundtrack if nobody knows what that is. It's basically just the same theme being played throughout with uh, different instruments playing different sections. Oh, cool. I remember when I was a part of the soundtrack. Right? You're always a part of my soundtrack, Jen. There was a run way back when, folks, when Flippity Flam and I were doing, I can't remember what kind of event it was, but Flib's, uh I think I was just doing regular runs. Flib's audio went out, so he asked uh, for some sound effect guys, and I, I came on in to help out with that. And I became the Man, sound that effects was, for the game that was while so he ran. Good. Yeah, you can get an audio glitch in this game. Sometimes, like, nobody knows how it works, but you can get it, and all the audio basically goes out of the game. So, here's that fire doing its work here. It's faster to just burn all these guys. You used to do a thing called the the Bunsen burn, where you would burn them all once, and then you would just suck up their mass and get them all stuck in one spot and then suck them up. But then somebody found that uh, it's just faster to just burn them all with fire. Okay. That's always what I throw out ghosts. Big old fireballs. That's true. You didn't know fire does work on ghosts and the ethereal. <laughs> Love it. Now, I thought you destroyed the moon. I, I did. I It may have been a fake moon. Okay. Okay. Let's not look for continuity here, shall oh, we? All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> My apologies. It's just out of frame. All right. So now here's that 300 boo. So we didn't quite oh. get him all the way down, but he did go in the white room. You nice know what health. We say, folks, 169. Yeah. <laughs> and okay, I just need him not to go this way, please. Wow. <laughs> exactly what he asked him not to do. That's fine. All right. I just need him to leave the room. Okay. So this is the armor room. This is the laggiest room in the game. Uh, Luigi likes to hit things, no matter what you do, oh. in different ways. Every single one of these things in here is interactable. So that's what causes, like, all the lag. That makes sense, because they all count as sprites to interact with. They all okay. count as sprites, yeah. So any sort of extra stuff here. We're also going to do the same thing here, get the money. That makes sense, Eldest Ghost Kill. That just uh -huh. reminds me of that that meme of that comic strip. Which one's that? With with Bowser and Peach. Mario. Oh, yeah. Uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's all I say. That's, that's I think enough. you know what, what I'm talking about, yeah. <laughs> we know what's going on here. <laughs> the Peach Peach smoking a cigarette. Yeah. <laughs> being yeah. The, Bowser being like he still hasn't figured it out yet, has he? Now that's definitely the, <laughs> the Dream Stream After Dark uh, yeah. <laughs> scenario there, folks. So we'll, we'll, we'll wait till the another day for that. So this is Jarvis. Um, we oh, got so it's, Jarvis it's a search engine. What? It's a search engine. It right? is, right? No, that's Jeeves. Ah. 
No, off, no. Off-brand search engine. This is terrible. We do have to search for him in these pots, though. So you're the search engine. I am the search engine. Okay, okay. Luigi, Louis Google? I don't know. That that almost broke my face yep, trying to yep. say that. So we just got to hit him seven times. Oh, well, you were hitting him. Okay, I couldn't tell. Yeah, right? <laughs> It's, it looks like I'm just going back and forth. Yeah, That's because he like, only spawns right. in those pots, and if you just do that, you don't have to worry about. I was like, we're just talking much. about some risque Bowser and you know, Peach uh, comic lore over here, and you're just flaming these uh, these pots. And I'm like, all right, all right. So it's good to know there was actually a reason you were doing damage to this. Indeed, yeah. Ghost. Okay. A lot of these ghosts just want to play games with you, too, so it makes it even worse. So, that was really bad. The last place we want him to go is that hallway. And it's really hard when you have the ice to tell if they're too high. Okay. Because if they're too high, no matter what, they're going to just keep double cackling, which is why he left the room so fast. Oh, okay, I was going to say, I thought, like, I was like, you're doing pretty good, but he left hecka quick. So we're gonna hope we can at least get this guy to go down. There we go. Um, I was so confused there for a second. It didn't do a cutscene. Because for some reason, technically, he was still in this room. <laughs> huh. Okay. Well, cool. They're really weird with their tracking. They're really they're, the whoever programmed these. I just I I really I want to I want to hit them in the head just okay, a little okay. bit, just a little smack. Little, what the heck were you thinking? Yeah, why would you have to make them all RNG? So this one's just hard because of the lag in this room. And sometimes you think you get it, and other times you don't. But let's see if we can get at least one. Nope. Oh, <laughs> I was like, please just do it after saying it's so hard. Come on. Mario. That's I, right. I found that it feels like I'm just the like I commentator curse myself so much. I did that so much at Dave's on Dave's <laughs> marathon. <laughs> Some people messaged me and were like, I've never seen somebody commentator curse themselves so much. I'm like, thank you. I'm, I'll be here all all week. All week. Still in this mansion. Mario. No, I didn't even want to win. But here I, I didn't am. even want to win. Yet here I am. So, whenever there's a ball on a table with a boo, like there's a 90% chance that, that boo is going to be in that table. Okay, cool. So, he got away. See, that's sort of the thing you want to do with the uh, basement boo is kind of like that. Except I did I did that just by accident. Oh, okay, nice. We, we like <laughs> But you can kind of keep, yeah, you can keep throwing them at the wall. I just want to see if this other one came in here. No, they're both in this room now. Hmm. So, this room sucks for the radar. Mario. Because... It doesn't really know where anything is. Because there's one, uh, and of course one move. This is great. Loving there it. There you go. The game's just hooking it up right now, big time. This big time. So remember when he started this, this run. this is my last run ever? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh cool it shows you the one. count of the booze all right i was about to ask it does yeah i was like how do you keep track of how many booze you got because it'd be terrible if you thought you got 50 and you were stuck at 49 or something yeah right especially since we glitched out our uh, menu so uh yeah. <laughs> So this was inevitability. We wouldn't have been able to get him anyway. Right, because of his, his life total as is. Life was just a little too high. You can get them like just a little above, like like 158 to like 162, if you stop pumping a little bit, because then you can just follow them. 
and that will actually suck them up just enough. Okay. And now we gotta go to the treasure room. The the other treasure room. We gotta get another key here. This is something you skip completely in any percent. Oh. We'll go down the ladder. Well, we just not ladder, but we kind of fall down the chimney like Santa Claus. Nice. Did you bring presents? I did bring presents. Sweet, sweet vengeance is oh, what I brought. Man. Bad Santa, anyone? Flippity Flam's ready for the roll. So I did not have enough element, which is not the greatest. Because you kind of want to. If a, if a ghost has zero health, and you burn them with an element, it's just an insta-kill. Oh, cool. The, like what happened with the shy guys. Yeah, exactly. You know, one of these rooms is bound to go right, right? <laughs> is that a, a guarantee? No, no, Dang. it's never. The, nothing is guaranteed in this game. Ugh. That's the most I've found out about this game is that nothing is a guarantee. So the guarantee is that nothing's guaranteed. Yes, exactly. That is the guarantee. Well, Slormer, it really depends the time of day. Because I can That's wish a lot. True. I'm really good at that. All right. Well, now, now we're going back down to the basement. Who wants to go to the basement in a haunted mansion? Right? I certainly don't. Uh, we're going to check this room, see if there's a different boo. No, we didn't. So this boo seems to have gone back into this room. Aw, oh, poor Idril. Sometimes getting constipated. And that's my trick, Jen. I'm always constipated. Well, you know, the, here's the thing. If you, if you are always constipated, you will weigh more than you actually weigh because you have a bunch of toxic waste still chilling in your system. Yeah, that, is very, that is very true. So some people weigh more than they need to because they don't go to the bathroom regularly. Now you there know. There we go. Now I know. Feels good to know, man. Knowing is half the battle, as they say. G.I. Joe. Well, starting Luigi. All right, so this is the basement boo. Um, fun fact about him, he's somebody who we could actually one cycle in this room if he wants to cooperate. There we go. So he's very, very slow. He's the slowest boo in the game. Uh, you could get him going back and forth with the 15 cackles before he leaves. Wow. He learns something new every day. That's a good thing. If you literally can learn something new every day, you are on a, the right track. That's 365 days worth of learning, 365 different things you've learned. That's amazing. That's true. Those word of day calendars, they're, they're, really, they're really something. Yeah, they definitely have words on them. <laughs> I miss the far side calendars. Oh Did my god. Did you make those? I, I, I god, hope right? so. I used to have a far side shirt that I wore until it became a literal hole. And uh, it used to say, Bummer, I'm a birthmark, Hal. And it was the uh, deer born with a target on its oh, stomach. Oh, that's really good. So this is Winston. He's the worst ghost in the game. We're actually going to get a one cycle on him. Neat. I'm Winston <laughs> Churchill. I'm Winston Churchill. So the ice in this room really, really sucks when you try and suck him up. <clears throat> Simply because... Ice physics. <laughs> yeah, ice physics. A. And B, all the icicles falling down on you. And he has a really, really good tendency of just breaking free. Of just going absolute bananas all over the room that looked really and good though that yeah he he cooperated for once which was really nice to answer your question topaz only if you don't regularly go to the restroom oh wow yes, you might have excess there are three boos in this room because here's the actual boo that's in this room oh okay 
Well, that was kind of nice of them. Okay, there's a double cackle, but it's fine. We still got him. Woo! All right. <clears throat> and now we're going to do another save and quit to... So going upstairs in this game is another little weird thing. Uh, is way slower than like anything else in the game. You mean just like Home Alone for the NES? Yeah, exactly. Like there are so many things we do to skip walking upstairs. So now we're heading back. We're going up. We have two more portrait ghosts to do. But first we gotta go water our flower. We gotta go water our beautiful little gem. Oh right, because that's gonna be worth a ton of money. It is, yeah. And as you can see, it's grown a bit since we last saw it. I really hope that's one really big green pea. Right? Just one giant pod. Yeah. Kind of like two peas in a podcast. Yo! What up? What a segue. Which starts again in February. That's right, folks. On 2222 Season 4 drops. Mario! And it'll be fun. We'll be straight back to that again. Mario! Because we had a banger of a season last time. It was amazing, to say the least. All right, so now what are you doing now? So we got fire. We're going to go to, in my opinion, the creepiest ghost in the game. Ooh, a creepy one. Okay. Yes, a very, very creepy one. This is Soupy. Oh my gosh, so it's like a Soupy one? That sounds disgusting. Yeah, kind of, yeah. Um... First, we gotta go through this room. We gotta light these candles, which is why I grabbed the fire. And then it's just, again, easier. Since these guys just have 10 health, we just have to hit them twice with the fire. Oh, cool. Now, these guys have fire over their hearts, so of course we need to just douse them with water. Oh, okay, okay, nice. So here's Soupy. I always found this very, very, very creepy that the whole room is upside down. Oh, yeah, okay, a little topsy-turvy. <clears throat> little topsy-turvy, she's floating there, and we also, uh, we have to make her wet the bed. That's the way to show her heart. I think that's also very creepy and very weird. That is weird. Especially because the bed's, like, on the ceiling, so that means it's gonna, like, drip down on the yeah, floor, too? Yeah, ex exactly like this. Oh. Like... So, folks, if you're trying to make your friend wet the bed, while they're sleeping. Um, I guess this is one of the methods you could use. Just pour a bunch of water from a vacuum on them. So she's also probably one of the hardest ones to one cycle, not because of herself, but because of the dolls that she throws at you. They have an abnormally amount of tracking. They're really good at hitting you. Okay. Now you made that look pretty easy though. I got I got lucky, Jen. Okay. Sometimes you gotta get sometimes I get lucky. It's not very often, but sometimes it does happen. Cool. Cool. So we're gonna hopefully get this trick. So we're gonna get that guy at 50. We're gonna get him down into this room. Then we're gonna shoo him out while we look for this other boo. <laughs> So he's in the table, which kind of sucks because he was in the chair and then he moved. So we're going to also let him go at 50. Now they're both going to be right here. And since this hallway is lit up... Well, we didn't wow. get both of them at the same time. But barely. Barely. Just barely. Two. At two health. Oh, fun fact. Booze at zero health can get away from you. Okay, I was curious. Yeah, booze at zero health can get away from you, and if they go into a hallway that is dark, they you can't suck them up. They ha you have to you have to suck up a boo in a lighted room. That's the only way to do it. And can you not use fire on them when they're at zero? No, fire means nothing to them. They laugh at fire, water. Or... Ice is the only thing that like kind of freezes them in place but that's it okay so now this looks like a, a painter's area yes this is van gore 
Ooh. This is the source of where all the ghosts have been coming from, as we're about to see. <clears throat> he uh, He's very mad at us for destroying his painting, so he's gonna sick his minions on us. Oh. So, All right, so, so far, it looks like it's going according to plan. According to plan, yeah. This one's really hard because it's, it's all positioning. Get out of position just a little bit and things become increasingly difficult. Got it. Because as soon as they get away after this first part, they can spawn anywhere. Holy bully. Okay. Well, good start, good start. So you always want to try and end up right next to the next painting. And yeah. Oh, I Just see. Just missed, threw a banana at me. Here's it going wrong. Had I not been impatient, I could have gotten all three again. But oh, they spawned in a pretty good spot anyway. Please, Mushroom. Right. Just leave me be. Mushroom, leave him. Oh, that's not great. Should have enough time. Nope. Oh. So that's why you want the element for these guys. There we go. And that's it. He's got our last key. He's going to show his heart. <laughs> I like how he does. He just like opens his shirt. He's like, look at it. Yeah. You've hurt my heart. It's wounded. Yeah, yes. Rip out my heart. You have ruined my art. <laughs> You're like, thank right. you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. Give me the key. So here's our last boo. He can only be in two spots. He was in the worst spot, so he's over here. Uh, the nice part about him is even though he has 300 health, he only goes in and out of this room. He doesn't wander the mansion. He's the only boo that does this. Oh, okay. Besides the other, he, the, the two boos on this floor actually only do that. They will only go in and out of their respective rooms. All right, so Chance is curious. What happens to a ghost that you murk? Do they super die or do they pass on? Uh, well, in this case, it's just, it, in my opinion, even worse. Uh, Ega just traps them in a painting for the rest of forever, so they cannot pass on nor go to heck or heaven they can't do anything they can't pass on they're basically in their own special purgatory Oof. which is why i think egad's the real monster here it sounds like it so you can almost bounce this diamond into you and then I if the diamond's so. in your hand you can save and quit so you can not Take the, I like to call this the walk of shame when you don't get it. Because now you gotta go over here and now we gotta warp back this way. <laughs> got it. Okay, you had to look at that to do the warp. Okay. Well, the ones I kill with like fire, I actually don't know. I don't think those, those are like actual like people, people ghosts. They're kind of fake ones created from the, the art. Yeah. Right? Like spooks or specters, I think would be the technical term. Ooh, okay. I, We'll be getting technical on us, folks. So, what happens when you're a hey, speedrunner? You never I'm make really good at, at that pseudo sciencey crap, you know? Yeah! <laughs> so, we don't need any more items. We have our two gold diamonds. Our money, our bills look absolutely exceptional. Cool. So, really, is it just the final boss fight you've got left? Yes, this is this is it. We've got King Boo right here. I'm gonna grab a blue gem here. If y'all didn't know, there's a blue gem here. There's a gold bar there, and there's money here. If you ever need extras. And here's King Boo, and our poor brother Mario stuck in the painting. Is that a gem on his head? That is a gem. So funny thing about that gem. That gem right there is the source of King Boo's power in the, the LM series. Ah. 
Yeah, I watched the whole YouTube on this because I found it super fascinating. Because in LM3, he has a different gem. Ah. And in Dark Moon, he steals a gem. <laughs> oh, man. Bowser with the inhale move. Yeah, so fun fact, this game was actually banned in Australia for a while because of this boss fight. Wow. All right. Because in the Any second Aussies? phase, yeah, because in the second phase, his head turns on backwards, and that was not uh, PC enough for them. Interesting. Even though it kind of looks like it's supposed to just be like a, uh, yeah, a fake. Yeah, it was since lifted, but I remember that being a big thing at the time, and I thought it was really funny. <laughs> I was going to say, for all the things, that would be one of the least reasons to me. Right? So, with with Bowser here at King Boo, we can two-cycle him. And we're going to hopefully get him down to about 350. And then we're going to start pumping. That's actually good. So, we got him halfway, 250. Anything under 200, he's going to do, go in another phase. It's going to be really long, and it sucks. Got it. Okay. But it sucks while you're sucking him. It, it. it sucks while you're sucking him. Got it. But if you can get it like this, and he's a little high, which might... So the, the best way to do is, like, spin in circles when you're doing him. That sounded wrong. And yeah. Okay, but this sounds really, really sexy. Spin in circles when you're sucking him. Wait, also, hold up. Hold up. No wonder why this is banned in Australia. <laughs> My god. Right? So we lost it by like three health, which kind of sucks, but oh well. Uh, his attacks are based off your positionals, so we want to be just far enough away he gives us bombs. And you... I, I didn't pump quite enough. And time. <laughs> Woo! All right! Hour 25 and 33 seconds. Hey, that's not bad. Not bad at all, especially when you had so many of those unfortunate scenarios, too. There were a lot of really bad things that happened this run. <laughs> that's the fastest anyone's done Luigi's Mansion 100% on the Dream Races. Heck yeah. So the nerve-wracking part about this run is that technically it's not over yet. Okay. Because we have to go check our money. We've got to make sure that we got the A ranking. So that this basically this is the, the qualifying part of it all. This is the qualifying part, right? The timer is off. We've got Mario. We've got our brother. We've technically finished a run. And now we got to see if it's a really long any percent run or if it's an actual 100 percent run. Okay, I'm glad you bring that up because in like Zelda Link's Awakening uh, legacy percent, you can beat the game, but you actually have to beat the game deathless, otherwise the, the run's DQ'd. Right? And the only way yeah. to find out is by watching till the end, and you have to see a very specific cutscene that's uh, saved for you if you beat the game in the correct fashion, which is deathless. Well, yeah, I remember that now. Not a great one, Eden. Not a creep. Number 16. Oh, man. No, never mind. That's the perfect that one, is then. Perf. Literal perf. Look at all these GGs in the chat, though. From the Flippity Flam. Thank you for the GGs, everybody. John Nublarm. The awesome phone, Keaton Carter. Braz. Thank you, everybody. Idril Majin. Look at all those Idril, GGs. Man. There's just so many. I forgot some. I apologize. All right, so here we go. We have all our, go our portrait ghosts, as they call them. 23. Now, I also want to look at King Boo's gem here and how much it's worth. Only $5,000 <laughs> is what King Boo's so gem bake is off worth. And just by the skin of our teeth, wow. it was a 100% run. Wow, just over $100 million. Yeah, you can see why I'm missing those because I usually I'm at the 103 to 104 just because I'm not comfortable enough with it yet. Those big gem or those big pearls make a huge difference in yes, your money. Yes, they do. Look at those things. Wow. Yeah, 
That's LM. That is LM. Good job, dude. That Thanks, was man. fascinating. Um, you were able to do such a good job of commentating while still running it, uh, which I think makes it pretty difficult in a game like this where there's so much RNG, you can't really prep perfectly. It's hard, yeah, because no nothing is perfect. Nothing go perfectly in this game. Even when things go perfectly, they go perfectly. Exactly, Carter. Optimal money. The perfect amount. It's like I planned it. He knew what he was doing. He counts his stacks. Uh, I probably will not be running this game further after this. Well, cause... I'm glad you got to see this, folks. <laughs> yeah. I am thinking about doing LM3, the third one. Yeah. Just because... The mashing is the biggest deterrent for me in this game. That makes sense. See, even Luigi's laughing about the mashing. I know, right? He just laughs at my pain and my arthritis. Ugh, look at him go. How rude of him. Flip. So we got a... I was going to say, we got a rap. <laughs>